I was on BBC Radio 4 this evening speaking about the potential to fine drivers and prosecute drivers for travelling one mile an hour faster than the speed limit and my views on that. Uh, since I've come off air, I've had quite a few people requesting my seven ways to be a safer driver in addition to sticking to the speed limit. So number one, ensure your car is serviced in accordance to the manufacturer guidelines. A well-maintained car is statistically less likely to break down and if you break down in the middle of a motorway or a town, anywhere you break down, it is potentially hazardous and dangerous to other road users and your passengers as well. Number two, don't use your phone while driving, doesn't matter whether it's as a sat nav, text message, mobile internet, if it's not in a cradle it is a massive distraction and even if it is in a cradle, if you're using it and it's distracting you, you can be uh, caught and fined for driving without due care and attention. It's a slightly different fine for just simply using your phone while driving. Um, however, just to make note there, uh, that not to use your phone while driving. Number three, leave enough time for your journey so that you are calm and relaxed. Number four, plan your journey. It could be a choice of podcast or music for your route and have you got enough fuel? Number five, follow self-maintenance tasks. So this is something that the whole family can get involved with. Uh, man, woman, boy or girl, these are very simple maintenance tasks that can be done at home. Uh, the first one is checking tyre pressures. If your tyre pressure is too low, it's dangerous, the car has less stability around a corner because the traction of the tyre can break more easily, which means that you don't have as much grip. Um, make sure that your screen wash is topped up if you're driving on the motorway and you get some spray up from a lorry and your screen wash is empty. It's very, very, it can happen very quickly that your visibility is reduced to not very much, if, if at all. Uh, also check to make sure that your lights are working, make sure your oil is uh, where it should be and keep your car clean. There's so many drivers driving around with filthy cars. You can't see their number plates, you can't see their lights and do you think that other users can see them? Number six, be a courteous driver. It's no good screaming and shouting and swearing at other road users because they've done something that you don't like. Uh, you don't know their story and all it's going to do is add aggravation to the problem. Uh, number seven is be strong enough to ask your passengers to be quiet. So if you're trying to concentrate on the road and you've got two or three passengers arguing or talking loudly, you're responsible for their safety and other people's safety that you're sharing the road with. So just tell them to be quiet so that you can concentrate on your driving. I'm sure there's many, many more that you can think of, but those are my top seven ways to be a safer driver and it might be an unusual um, an unusual pursuit for a racing driver to be preaching about um, how to drive safely but actually when we're driving around a motor racing circuit and we have a marshal on every post and a five point harness, crash helmet, roll cage, the list goes on. It's actually quite a safe environment to be speeding in um, whereas on the road there's a lots of roadside furniture as I like to call it to bump into. Um, and you're sharing the road not with other racing drivers with roll cages and crash helmets and race suits on and so it's, uh, it's, it's actually it's an initiative and a campaign that the MSA feel very strongly about and uh, racing drivers uh, we all have our race licenses and that's that's the time and the place so if you're interested in being a safer road driver. I hope that these top seven tips have been useful to you. I'm Rebecca Jackson. Thank you for listening.